Bruno leads away from Ronald. Olofsky trying to find his way through. He knows in the warm-up final he had the pace. He needs to get past Ronald first, though. Ronald running in second position. Mihel running in third position at the moment as they filter down through the main straight, through the bank curving. Bruno just got a little gap out in front. Eric Dankel also trying to get involved in this one. Later on in the run where the sort of pace became a bit evident, uh, Eric started dropping away a little bit on pace later on in the run from these guys. But so far we have got all of the front cars covered by really, really small gaps. Ronald running in at second position at the moment is Ronald Volker, nine tenths of a second down on the lead car of Bruno Coelho. You just see him disappearing at the front of the shot. Mihailovsky running in third position currently. Started to come through to catch some traffic. I believe that will be uh, Oliver Havranak, who just parks it up out the way. He really doesn't want to get involved in this. This hasn't quite exploded into life yet. We're running with the car of Ronald Volker. We've got sort of... Uh, he's... Uh, the gap between him and Bruno and him and Mike Mihel Orlovsky uh, it's fairly constant there's uh, Ronald starting to come back now he's got the gap down to under eight tenths is that Bruno just managing the gap not wanting to take too much out of his tyres they get fresh tyres for every run uh, the A finalists so that uh, it's a straight fight between them but uh, Ronald, a little bit of a wobble coming out onto the straight. Still at seven tenths. Uh, Mihail Olofsky a further eight tenths back. So pretty equal gap between these three. Ronald just nibbled that gap down again. It's now just under seven tenths. Two minutes left. Let's stick with Ronald. Let's keep our focus on him as he heads towards Bruno. If Bruno's managing this, that is superb confidence in his ability. It's like six tenths. Ronald just looks like he can get off that bank corner off the end of the sweeper tighter. Gap's coming down. It's it, Again, it's, it's half a tenth. There's a minute and a half left of this. just keeping an eye on this battle and the gap's nothing but it's everything it's Ronald just trying to close that down again it's still six tenths of a second half a second now Ronald throwing everything at this trying to catch up to Bruno Ronald absolutely charging. He's closer again now. He's got it under half a second. One minute to go. We're focusing on the car of Ronald Volker. He's chasing the car of Bruno Coelho. They come back out onto the main straight once more. Two of them open up the throttle, fly down the main straight. Again, it's half a tenth. He's going to arrive on his bumper, but with 40 seconds to go, unless Bruno makes a mistake, I'm not sure he's going to have enough time to do anything about it. Three tenths now. Ronald giving absolutely everything to this. I think we're going to have this lap they're starting and one more. So they're going to make the additional lap from this one. It's three tenths. Ronald's looking. He's looking. He's got a chance. This is the last lap now that they're on. They're on to their final lap. 
Ronald has a look down the inside. Can't find a gap there. Can't find a gap there. Let's go round the banking. This is going to be a throw it at the line. And Bruno takes the leg win for leg one. That's a superbly managed race there from Bruno Coelho. Uh, Ronald Volker, uh, a, a huge, huge credit for just a, an epic drive up to the, the rear bumper. Just ran out of time. Uh, Mihail Olofsky uh, in third position. In fact, Eric Dankel, uh, only three tenths off the, the back of him, completely missed that just watching what was going on at, at the front. Bruno gets the jump off the start, and oh, Ronald Volker, it's all gone wrong for him. So Ronald put a tyre on the grass, and straight away span, he has gone to the tail of the field. That is one challenger to Bruno, gone straight away. Let's see what happens to Mihail Orlovsky. See if he can push his way forward, push his way into contention. Mihail, the other driver to win a round of qualifying. Bruno taking three rounds, Mihal taking one, Ronald Volker taking one. Epic, epic last round of qualifying. We kind of forgot about Mihal Olofsky. He um, was like half a second back. Um, uh, the battle at the front was going on between this man here, Bruno Coelho, and Ronald Volker at the tail of the field, Alex Hagberg. Um, Looks like he didn't make it around the first lap. Don't know if he got uh, collected in Ronald Volker's uh, impact at the start. Ronald still running. Eight tenths of a second. Bruno's gap already. Though Mihail Olofsky looks like he is the main chance, the main challenger to prevent Bruno Coelho taking another European Championship title. Let's see a gap up to nine tenths now. Looks like we've got a good run for the European Championship coming together. Two all white cars out in front. Bruno Coelho the lead of them. Mihail Olofsky the second of the two. Eric Dankel running in third position. Mark Reinhardt in fourth. Marco Kaufman pops himself up into fifth position. Main loser was Ronald Volker and Alex Hagberg at the start. It's a spin for Ronald Volker. Could be really, really costly for him. 1.2 seconds now. So Bruno is pulling away at the front of this one. Mihaila Olofsky not seemingly able to do anything about this car that we are following at the moment. Just over half distance in the race. Bruno Coelho looks like he is heading for another European title. Stayed. Gap's come down very slightly. But it was like half a tenth it's come down by. Bruno still looking good, looking comfortable out in front. Gap again, it's uh, down to 1.111, but it's it's not enough. If Mihel is catching, he needs to be catching an awful lot faster. Gap's gone out again, but again, it's half a tenth. There's nothing in this. Whether this is just management from Bruno, we'll find out. I suspect we'll be having a chat with him any moment now. We thought that, though, about Simon Lauter as well. And uh, a mistake from here, open the door from Jan Rathaisky. Is history going to repeat itself? Bruno, though, very, very experienced. He's won European titles. He's won world titles. He knows what he's doing. One minute 20 to go. Lead is... Just over one second. It's come down. It's nine and a half tenths. Let's just see at the end of this lap. I think, though, we better start getting prepared to go and have a chat with Bruno as potentially our European champion. Looking on the inside, he's heading forward for second position. 
Bruno Cahello is just 40 seconds away from a European Championship. What must be going through Volker's head now? Best he can hope for is potentially a podium in the final final. 20 seconds to go now, Bruno still gapping Olowski. 1.3 seconds in the lead from Olowski, Olowski. And this will be his final lap. Bruno Cahello has driven supremely for both of these A main finals. And there we have it. Matt, uh, Bruno, well done. Thank you very much. Uh, what did you think then at the start? Obviously, Ronald had really strong pace at the end of the first leg and looked like he was a bit of a slow starter. But then at the beginning of that one, what did you think? Did you know? Did you see him spin off? Yeah, of course. I, I saw that uh, he spin off in the beginning. So I think it's due to the where he starts. He starts in a quite bad area. Uh, he's quite uh, dust over there. And I think probably he started a little bit too aggressive and, you know, it sp spun out. Uh, it was, you know, bad luck. That is, is a part of the game. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy about about the result. We we worked, we worked a lot for it. Uh, through the weekend, there was a lot of up and downs. Uh, we tried to work on the car a lot to make it uh, very good for the five minutes. And I think this was the time that finally we we arrived on a setup that was very good from the beginning until the hands. Uh, I was able to to manage the gap to to Michael in the hands. Uh, unlucky, Walker spun out, which. Uh, didn't result in a, in a better fight in the hands, but uh, yeah, I'm super happy. No, okay. I mean, you saw in the first leg. I, I guess I know you were managing the the second leg. It was it looked too close in the first leg. That wasn't you managing it. That was Ronald uh, catching you on pace. Yeah. Ye yesterday we had the issue that in the first minute and a half, my car wasn't that good. Uh, like Volker, Duncan, and Orlovsky, they were kind of uh, much faster than me in the beginning, and then my car was very good middle hand. So today we tried to invert that thing, and uh, yeah, on the first final we had exactly that thing, that the car started very good, but through the round started to, to push a little bit and I lost a lot of pace. So yeah, in the last minute Volker was catching me a lot, but you know, I had everything to lose and he had everything to win. So basically I was trying to not make any mistake, trying to not force too much, and in the same time the car was getting a little bit slower. Uh, so that's why it was a, was a bit uh, stressful in the beginning, in the end, sorry, in the last minute, but uh, yeah, and well, everything okay. Oh, well, congratulations, another European title. You going out for the third leg? Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You, you, you've done enough. Well done, and uh, we'll let you get back on with your team. We're looking for Ronald, Mihal, and Mark as probably the, uh, the the sort of contenders for for second here. It's uh, a bit of a, an outside uh, outside chance for Mark, but um, if, if he wins this final leg, which of course he's capable of doing. He could, uh, he could well do this. And that looked like a jump start from Eric Dankel. Mihal Olofsky tried to go around the outside of Ronald Volker. Didn't quite make it. Ronald will be incredibly relieved. Maybe a little bit tender on the throttle application. Just squeezed it smoothly like a tube of toothpaste as he came off the line. Just not wanting to spin it up onto the grass. Ronald Volker. Holding on to the lead from Mihal Olofsky. Eric Dankol is down at the tail of the field. I think he's being called in for a stop go because of that jump start. Quite possibly Mark Reinhard lurking in third position. So remember the three drivers we said we needed to watch out for. They're at the front of this final. Ronald, if he takes this, will take second overall. Mihal, if he takes this, will be second overall. Mark would need to win this to get himself really to hold on to his place on the podium. Front two look to be going away very, very slightly. Mihal crawling all over the back of Ronald. Has a look around the outside, has a look around the inside, down the main straight once more. Mihal Olofsky trying to find his way past Ronald Volker. Cuts to the inside. Mihal looked really, really fast in the warm-up this morning. Even caught Bruno, passed Bruno. 
and then like a true pro pulled into the pit lane so he didn't win the practice final Bruno broke the curse of the practice finals though by taking the win in the practice final and taking the win in the first two legs after a mistake from Ronald Ronald who's still leading this one under immense pressure from El Olofsky Coming up towards half distance now. It's going to feel like a very, very long race for Ronald. Mark Reinhardt still in third. He's less than a second back. Alex Hagberg still in fourth. You can just see Mark flashing to the back of shot there. Small coming together for these two. I think realistically that's what it would need to get Mark out into the front. It doesn't look like he can quite drive up to them on pace. Mihal has a look on the inside. Needs a good, clean run. Can't quite get the power down. Huge power from Ronald around the banking. Mihal has a look on the inside. Has he got a run here? Around the outside of the banking. Ronald parks it on the inside. He can't do anything about it. Mihal still got best part of two minutes to try and do something cuts to the inside again he just cannot find a way past everywhere he's quicker Ronald is parking the car on the apex he almost needs to force Ronald into some kind of defense there we go tight line again from Ronald Mihel looks like he could carry the speed if there wasn't a car parked in the way Ronald looks to have stemmed the flow very slightly. A little bit of a gap. Up to just over one third of a second into the final minute of track action here from Turkheim. Here this weekend, we are watching Ronald Volker. We are watching Mihel Olofsky off down the main straight once more. See Mihail Olofsky's father watching at the side of the track, expressionless as his son tries to chase down Ronald Volker. Last 20 seconds, they're going to have this lap plus one more. Ronald looks to have done what he needs to do. Mark Reinhardt still running in third position. It's a valiant effort, but they're on to their final lap now, and it looks like Ronald has done all he needs to do to stem the tide. Let's just see as he comes around to cross the line. So Ronald Volker will cross the line, win the third leg, and take second place overall. Mihail Olofsky in third position. There we go, an embrace between the two of them between Ronald Volker, Mihail Olofsky, uh, and there we go. Bruno Coelho, we already knew he'd taken it. Uh, Ronald Volker got him second place. Mihail Olofsky up in to third position.